In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up link protection with Stream Elements. My name is Tree, and I'm extremely supportive for videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree. Feel free to hop in and ask anything about streaming. Let's go to streamelements.com and log in with your Twitch. We're going to scroll down and try and find something called spam filters. It's under the bot tab. If you do not see it, it might be folded and you might need to unfold it. Click on spam filters. Right here, we need to make sure that link protection is on when it is to the right and it looks blue. Then we click on it. Right now we see some options about link protection. So when somebody posts a link, they're going to get a timeout. We want to set how long this timeout will last for. We can do that right here. This is the amount of time in seconds. So for now, they're timed out for two minutes. We can exclude certain people. So for example, if you do trust your moderators or your subscribers, you can exclude them from this timeout. You can do that here by setting up the role that you want to be excluded. For me, that's subscribers, because I trust my subscribers. And usually when people want to troll you with links, they're not going to subscribe to your channel first. Then we can set a message here. This message will be displayed when somebody actually breaks the rules and posts a link anyway. So you can say something like, please don't post links and you're going to get a timeout for 120 seconds. You can also just leave this empty if you don't want that. And then we can go to whitelist. Here we can whitelist some, some links. So sometimes when people are talking, they use links like D.Va, the character from Overwatch. This is not actually a link, but the bot will see it as a link because there's a dot in it. So what I did is I actually made sure that people can say D.Va. I whitelisted it. I also want to make sure that people can actually promote my social medias and also my Twitch. So I added my social medias and my Twitch and everything that has something to do with me in here. And over the time of your streaming career, people are going to say things that your bot are going to time them out for, but you don't want them to be timed out for that. You're just going to go back here to the whitelist and add more words that you think are appropriate to say in your, your chat that you think are no links or links that you would allow people to say. Here we have blacklist. This is actually a part that you can put in links that you do not want to see in your chat at all. If somebody uses one of these links, they will be punished harder. So for example, they can be banned for posting a link to a sexual site. I recommend you put the most popular of those, you know which ones, here in the blacklist. <laughs> I removed them real quick because I didn't want them to be on the YouTube video, but I have them in here as well. What you need to do is don't forget to actually go to your chat and make stream elements a moderator. You do this by just going to your chat and type slash mod stream elements. This is it, super simple. So just hop in to display this with me where I explain everything about stream elements. See you there.